Hello everyone, Justin here, and today I wanted to talk about drawing from imagination once you learn a specific technique or method. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the Loomis method. And if you don't know what that is, please check out my video, which I'll provide a link in the description below. And this basically just tells you, shows you where to put the parts of the face, including the hairline, the brow, the nose, and the chin. And of course, the mouth fitting right in between the nose and the chin. Once you figure this out, you know, you want to apply this uh, method, which you just learned. So you could take photos, for example, from magazines and superimpose using a Sharpie, for example, these lines. And that'll help reinforce um, where the nose and the eyes fit and all that. But you also want to go ahead and try to draw this stuff from memory. Um, because to me, that's a really good goal to try to achieve and not be always reliant on reference material. And by doing this, you will again reinforce the method you just learned. And, you know, you will get, you'll end up with drawings and art that would be different from, say, just following a photograph. The great thing about faces is there's unlimited possibilities. So even if your proportions aren't exactly right or it doesn't look um, what you initially imagined, no worries, right? There's a lot of people that would probably fit that look that you just drew. And you want to go ahead and just start this early on. Now, I, I think I'm sure there are people who feel that you should always draw from reference material but I disagree with this. And like myself, I initially, for sure, when I first started drawing, I always drew from uh, reference material, trying to copy what I saw. But quickly, I didn't always have that material. So I would start drawing from memory, whether it was in the classroom or whatever, wherever. But this really helps to start making you think start making you apply these uh, methods and techniques and get you out there on a limb. So try this. This uh, face, for example, I'm just making it up, obviously. But I'm also trying different techniques here, trying to use mostly vertical lines, but trying to blend it as well. Now, when I first started this, I had an idea of what I wanted to draw, but in the end, it actually kind of ended up being different from uh, what I initially planned. So give it a try, whether it's drawing animals, drawing figures, drawing faces, or different techniques, pen, pen and ink, pencil, colored pencils, whatever. Once you learn something, try drawing anything that you can think of and draw it from imagination. I think this will help you out a lot in the long run. If you like this video, uh, or if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and uh, subscribe for more videos so you can learn to draw better. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it, and have a great day. Bye.